The action actually started uh, on Monday with uh, protesters um, climbing onto the facade. There's a, a balcony outside the unmarked building, which is the Shell headquarters in the UK. And they honoured the work of uh, Polly Higgins, who has been campaigning for ecocide law, uh, which is essentially to hold to account, you know, companies and governments for the criminal damage to the earth. Um, and I uh, protested there yesterday as that action was ending because I feel, you know, it's absurd that I was walking off in handcuffs for criminal damage to the Shell building when Shell itself has been one of the main uh, biggest polluters who has caused the largest amount of irreversible, very serious harm that is happening all around the world, the climate destruction that we're seeing uh, as a result of... Uh, you know, 30 years of too little, too late. We have laws that were put in place that are being repealed or being challenged or being uh, disassembled by fossil fuel interests. So that's why I've added the word activist to what I do as a lawyer. I feel every single person is now called upon to join um, Extinction Rebellion's call for mass civil disobedience, to see that everyone is needed, to shout out very loud, loudly and boldly wherever they are in the system, uh, and to not just think that this is somebody else's day job. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely committed to the legal process. I believe in the rule of law. I'll carry on writing and advising, you know, when, when I can. But right now, I feel the most important thing that people can do is come and join us on the streets, come and join whatever uh, rebellion is taking place near you. If there isn't one, you know, set one up. It's a very decentralised movement. And I, you know, it's very similar in some ways what, what's happening here. We had 1.6 million students around the world on the 12th of March. You know, in, in nearly every country in the world, you've got the Sunrise Movement in the US. I think people are beginning to wake up and understand that we sadly have to take, um, you know, different measures and, and slightly extraordinary measures than rely on our elected politicians. That hasn't delivered so far.